All right, here's another option I'm going to walk you through. Um, you can, you're able to make something like this relatively easily in Photoshop, and I'll show you how to do that. And there's just a bush and some grass and a shadow. <laughs> Very simple, you know, there's nothing too creative here going on. We're just learning how to use some of the tools, but it still comes out pretty nice. So I'll show you how to do this. And another thing I'll show you how to do Um, we'll go over some real basic uh, coloring ideas in Photoshop. If I have uh, light colored mountains, let's say we have green mountains. Let's use the green we already have. Boink, there we go. If you think of uh, your main picture simplified down into three values, a light, a medium, and a dark. And your pictures are going to come out fine. Um, we already we could think of this however we want. This could be the lightest value, um, and I could make the sky super dark and the ground a middle. This could be the middle. Uh, the sky, the ground could be covered with a very light color, maybe sand. lighter color. This is the middle. And then maybe the sky is a darker color. It's a red sunset. Orange sunset. We have a dark, medium, and a light. Could have... These are just choices. There's no right one right answer. Now these are similar value. And this is, like I said, uh, very oversimplified, which is okay. But if we kept that color and just darkened it, It's another perfectly legitimate idea. And this is a, a good quick way you can experiment and not worry about wasting time. I'm gonna make a layer. If as long as you, you can add as much detail as you want, as long as you stay within your three values, let's say I want some clouds and I don't want them to be too distracting. It's already light, so that's all right. I'm just using the lasso tool, lasso, lasso, lasso tool. Sure, why not? This is white, and that's, uh, these are both light values. We even have room for a little more variety in there. Let's see, we have some birds. Fine. There we go. Uh, let's say they're say we dark. Now the these are going to draw a lot of attention. You can do it. These are going to be super distracting. If your main idea is going to be down here, you just have to be aware that you're doing this. But that's fine to do. Although it is also fine to do something like this. noticeable. A little, they have a warm color to them, so um, they're going to draw more attention that way as well. Same thing with the mountains. Maybe you want the caps on them. Let's see. Let's make another layer. 
just in case. If you make white caps, they're going to be super distracting or be lost into the sky. So maybe we want this to be a little bit lighter. Let's say let's say we make them almost white. See what happens. Oh, well, that's still a medium. In fact, I want them lighter. Yeah. They're still definitely within the middle range, but they can see that they're they're capped. Even add some uh, light to these mountains. It's way too bright. within the range. We could even add a little bit of say we use some Sky shadows. It's going to be way too dark. Very distracting. Bold, but it is distracting. It's outside that range. And same thing with down here. Maybe we want. We want a road. And I have all these layers building up. I got I need to label them. But you can play with opacities to get the basic colors right. You could do that. Could back it off a little. too dark it really throws the overall range off i'm going to stay within that brown darkness there here we go maybe a little lighter doesn't have to be that much darker maybe about that maybe in the same color, new layer, and that obviously doesn't work. We could go a little bit darker, so we have a light, medium, and dark of the dark, or We can go the other way. Now, if we go 
a little bit. If we go all the way up, now that's a light value. It does look nice. So if you're trying to stay within a range. Okay, I'm saying if this isn't the main idea, you might not want. If you don't want to draw too much attention there. There we go. So there's some bushes there. We could even have a little bit, hey now, of shadow. I need to use bushes or trees. Say so we just do this. This is going to actually draw a lot of attention because we're getting, we have a lot of interesting detail here. Boom. Ooh, yeah. All right. Beautiful.